so we have already discussed and uh, also you have seen that in our previous lecture we have completed everything what we need to define right now what we'll do now uh, i have taken a folder and here i have taken a save copy of that value so why i have, I have taken that save copy or a uh, replicate folder because when i will start working something new then i will use that default file i'll just copy from here and uh, i will start with that file okay so uh, so that every time i can reduce my time or uh, when i will start working something then it will help me to reduce my time because already what i need to define with two hours or three hours already have done it so i'll just close that and now i will open our plot plan and we'll start our modeling so before modeling we have to define our grid system so it is very important to define our grid system perfectly so for that i will just open our autocad file So here our autocad file and i will uh, share that file with you so just see uh, the file have been sent from my architect okay and uh, also they have provided me a grid line here okay. a grid line and it's important it's very important because with respect to that grid line you will start working here all or higher everything given our first thing is we have to create that grid first then we'll go for another work so what we'll do first first i will just see here everything is given i'll just start creating that grid line in autocad Sorry, in edaps okay uh, same as our given value and then i will start modeling so let's start first of all i will start from x direction uh, let's uh, count that how much grid we have to create one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 16 17 and 18 okay total 18 grid line we need in extraction i just come here and in that direction i need 18 grid line okay to defend grid line we have two options one is here edit here edit a story and grid system otherwise right click and add or modify grid okay same you will get same option so uh, first of all i'll just click here modify show grid system okay here i'll change everything what i need so i'll just move it here so that uh, i can complete my work very easily right click modify modify grid system done and in that side I'll take my autocad file so here from here we'll start working
and must click here display grid system visibility and also uh, you can change that bubble system but I, I will not change anything now if need I will change it later and also we can start new rectangular grid if you need to do it you can do from here also uh, now actually it's okay but uh, in next if you need to change anything we'll change there have two options okay there have two options display grid data as ordinate or display grid data as a specific so what is the difference between the two option so first option means when just see here they are uh, giving like 0 24 48 72 so what is the meaning of that this means this is 0 this is 24 this is 48 and this is 72 feet from that point okay but if we take that option then all the lower 22 so from that a to b is 24 b to c is 24 and c to d is 24 is it clear to you so i prefer to use that option why because if i use that option display grid data as a spacing then here here i mean here one grid to another grid spacing is given simply I'll click here add sorry here i'll add some more point now we'll start providing data so first of all two feet and print then enter okay then three feet and twins then 10 feet and four inch then seven feet and four inch then three feet and one inch four feet seven inch then six feet ten inch then two feet sorry two feet two inch two feet and two inch then 14 feet eight inch then one feet and eight inch one feet and eight inch then three feet and five inch four 11 inch and 3 inch 6 feet and 2 inch again sorry. One feet eight inch, and this one will be three feet and five inch, eleven feet, three inch, six feet, two inch. Then four feet and five inch on it and ten inch then two feet sorry we need one two feet four inch okay so for x direction it's done we have done it now we'll go for y direction so for y direction here 
in that side also in that side value is given so for y direction uh, i have to check which direction we have given our spacing perfectly i think I think in that side okay so for uh, that line that line also given here also here and for that line here and for that line given here and for that line okay so in right side all distance are given always remember that if you make any mistake then it will be very difficult to change it and one thing you have to see from where on have been started from bottom it's have been started so we have to provide our bottom value first it's 16 feet 6 inch that means 16.5 then 15 feet 15.5 that means 15 feet 6 inch then 2.5 9 feet and 10 inch that means 9 feet and 10 in that means 9.833 again 10 feet 10 feet 11 inch Ten feet eleven inch, then one feet ten inch. We need more grit. One feet and ten inch, and four feet five inch. I hope it's done. Okay. So. So we have uh, defined our all grid system all required grid, grid system in each direction so we have done it perfectly now i will just simply click here okay i'll click refresh then okay see all of our grid have been created now here we are seeing overlapping on our bubble what i'll do right click add or modify joint modify from 60 to make it 30 okay refresh it okay mm, i think it's okay now okay and if we make less or uh, more uh, smaller maybe it will not be visible to us it's done when our grid system is created now we are ready to model okay and again i'll right click here i'll add our building a story here i'll click okay let's click here i have to change something our first is base then history one history two modify our history one that will work as a ground floor then a story i'll just provide value like okay. c dot ground floor then it will be story one be story two be story three okay and our height will be 10 feet
also you are able to change your color i mean your s3 color i'm not going to change it okay then i'll click at that quick so our building will be 13 story 40. and last one this one will be story 14 dot roof roof and yes That is, and uh, they have something like our leaf room. Okay, so for our leaf room, uh, from here to top, I will take for 10 feet. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, refresh. Okay, if I add a new windows. Here, our new windows is here. So now we are ready to model. Okay, uh, in our next lecture, we'll start modeling. Thank you, thank you very much.